From the time that I was at school, I was always keenly interested in arts. The fact that I ended up being a scientist has not slowed down my passion for art. When you think about art, you immediately think about creativity, inspiration, and I think chemistry has a lot of that. And if we think about architecture and how we define spaces three-dimensionally, that is something that chemistry does at a molecular level. If you think about painting, then you think about pigments, and those are, of course, chemical compounds. If you think about a sculpture, you also can think about chemical bonds. So we are interested in methodology development and developing new reactions, but the ultimate goal is to be able to use those reactions to streamline the synthesis of complex molecules, including natural products, for example. So there is a beautiful synergy in some of the methods that we develop that we then translate into the synthesis of these highly complex molecular architectures. And in particular, natural products have the advantage that typically they have a biological function. And as chemists, we have a fantastic platform in order to help biologists and medical doctors trying to get more insights into the background of disease, utilizing these natural products as kind of chemical probes. So one of the most beautiful things that I have experienced as a scientist is the need to collaborate with other people. I have, from the very beginning, tried to combine our synthetic program with computational tools, both in the area of methodology development to understand reaction mechanisms, but also in the area of medicinal chemistry, where we take advantage of in silico tools to design actual molecules to improve our design and also to speed up our design. I personally am extremely lucky to have a very international group. We have at least six, seven or eight different nationalities in the lab. So running together has brought us, I feel, together as a group. It's a very interesting opportunity to talk about chemistry and talk about projects but it's also a good opportunity to socialize and experience people in a different context. Groups are like families, so being able to get to know each other on a more personal basis is important to have a good environment, and if you have a good environment, you have happy people, and if you have happy people, then you have good projects and good progress. What I would say to a student that wants to pursue a career in science, it's a fantastic job. It's actually a passion. It's a career in which you are gonna be learning every single day. And I cannot think of something better than that. <laughs>